So all of your lymphatic nerves are surrounded entirely by sympathetic nerves, which means that whenever your body becomes sympathetic, that is to say stressed out, these nerves will clench down on these vessels. Now this is meant to be a short-term survival mechanism. So if you're going through something like a fight, um, you know, you were ambushed by a tiger and you get slashed by it, you're not gonna bleed out quite as quickly because your vessels are going to be constricted. So if this does not remain short-term, i.e. it becomes long-term, you're going to have total systemic reduction in circulation, both in terms of your blood being, being able to get out into your body and for your veins and your lymph vessels to be able to take that fluid back up to your heart. So if you're living a life that's full of daily stress and you're basically living your entire life completely stressed out, that means that your circulation is by default going to be reduced. So one of the most effective ways we have to counter the stress it very intentionally is by massaging out your vagus nerve. Now your vagus nerve is the largest nerve in your body and its entire purpose when stimulated is to create parasympathetic reactions. So all the reactions that you have physiologically when you're stressed, the vagus nerve does the opposite. So it gets your body to calm down and relax, be less anxious, uh, allows you to breathe better and to digest better. So one of the things that we can do is to grab our handy gorgeous ball or a Pilates ball that's just like semi-inflated. And what I want to do here is to put it in my belly. So I'm gonna lay down with it, and we're gonna be thinking, first off, just lay down with the ball uh, right underneath my belly button, and I want to just simply breathe for a good solid minute. So set yourself a timer and take at least a minute to just simply breathe deep. And that's it for a whole minute. Try to relax, especially if this is your first time doing it, you're going to want to you know, chill out with it. You, you don't want to go too hardcore. Be gentle. It should feel nothing more than um, gentle pressure. There shouldn't be any pain or discomfort. If there is, you can use your hands and your legs to kind of push yourself up a little bit. And once you've done about one minute or so, then I want you to start moving around where that ball is going to very gently and easily, while you continue to take deep breaths, move all about your abdominal cavity. So we're thinking rib cage to hips, all of that needs to be moving around here. Again, you're trying to breathe deeply. And what this is going to do, especially as you're breathing, that diaphragm, as it moves up and down your rib cage, is gonna have, there's gonna be extra pressure in your abdomen, which means your diaphragm is gonna have a little bit more potency in stroking your vagus nerve that goes from your neck all the way down into your body and your uh, diaphragm massages it as it moves through a full range of motion. This helps to capitalize on that. In addition, this also helps all your lymphatic vessels, of which you have the largest ones in your abdomen, uh, get stimulated and pumped through. So this is fantastic to do, not only if you're just simply stressed out and anxious, but also if you're feeling ill or are ill. How long you want to go for the actual massage bit, I'll typically recommend anywhere between three and five minutes, or even longer if you so choose. So we're thinking one minute, start off being fairly static, just breathe, get used to the sensation of having that in your gut, especially if it's your first time doing that, and then slowly start to expand out across your entire abdomen.